everybody it's kelsey brianna j and in today's video i'm going to be reviewing the new collection from kaleidos which is called the make your escape collection and they sent me the collection in the coolest packaging ever and i just have to take a moment and show it to you all so it comes in a little safe, right? And then on the back, it says the escape kit, right? And then when you turn it around, they have the products in here and it came with a key and you're able to open it up and just get your products out. But I just think that Kaleidos' presentation is always so neat and so unique. So that always wins me right off jump. But let's dive into the details of the products that are in this collection because there's quite a bit of things here and of course i'm going to show you all how to create the look that you see me wearing on my face and then stay tuned until the end and i will tell you all my final thoughts about this collection so uh let's dive first into the highlighters so in this launch we have four different highlighters and we have the highlighter in the color diamond dasher ray rider and Mars Melter. And each one of these retails for $14 and I will go ahead and insert a swatch of these. So these are color shifting highlighters. It says that these are translucent yet highly reflective multi-chrome finished highlighters. They're ultra lightweight, they're smooth in texture and they practically melt into your skin. So they also launched two blushers and these are called the lo-fi blushers these blushers have two products in one so on the top it is a duochrome blush and then on the bottom it is a more mattified blush so it says that these products are subtle but you can build them up for them to be a little bit more dramatic so next in the collection is a lip product and this one is called hypnotize we have some sponges which they call makeup blenders and this retails for ten dollars and it comes with two different ones so it says that this is a pair of versatile makeup blending sponges that are soft on the skin and easy to use they gave us an eye primer and this one is called the tone activator eye primer and the description of this says that it is an eye primer that activates eye makeup's full potential by enhancing eyeshadow or pressed pigments vibrancy and color payoff and so finally we come to the star of the show the eyeshadow palette and this one is called the escape pod so this one retails for $42 and the description says that it is an instant escape to the most sublime realms of your imagination fresh fruity multi-hued and marvelous this 15 shade palette is an exuberant celebration of eccentric elegance Bursting with vibrant violets, luscious duochromes, and a festive spectrum of bright, ultra-pigmented mattes, the Escape Pod handles like a dream and will navigate smoothly to the most extraordinary destinations you can dream up. Sit back, relax, and enjoy a first-class trip to a rendezvous of color like no other. It opens up like a book, but then it's like a traditional palette. So here are the eyeshadow colors. And I just absolutely am here for this collection because it's like my eyes are dancing over all the colors. So I had such a good time creating this look. I'm excited to go ahead and just jump into it. I hope that you all enjoy, and I will check you all down in the comment section. Let's open up this baby. So I'm going to take some of the eye primer first. This has a little bit of a peachy tint to it. Probably put too much. That's all right. Royal and Light Nickel BLM 460. And I'm just going to blend this thing out. That has a really nice smooth consistency. So my eyes are prepped, so let's go in. So I'm going to take this eyeshadow palette. This one is called the Escape Pod. So I'm going to take the Sonya G Crease 2 brush and the color Soiree. So let me tap this off of my brush. And I am going to take this and apply it as my transition color. So I'm just going to take this color back and forth and build it up in the crease. And my, 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 it is building up really fast. So back and forth and then diffuse it outwards and this is going to be my transition shade and the primer that i used is somewhat sticky so go in with packing motions first and then buff it out and you'll have an easier time blending she cute i like this little lavender situation i love it my brush is going right for mardi gras as a resident purple lover i have to put mardi gras directly in the crease because it's about to cut up i'm just kidding <laughs> But back and forth, I'm going to take this color and, I mean, it's really building really easily. So, no problemo. 
So I'm going to go back and forth and apply this color in the crease. And uh, I think that looks gorgeous. Same brush and I'm going to take Exoplanet. And I'm popping that right on the outer corner. Next, I'm going to take my flat shader brush and I'm going to pick up a bit of the color Starlight Sonata. Very, very lightly, I'm going to take this color right underneath my brows. And I mean the lightest application of this color because I just want it to look like a little galaxy right underneath my brows. Not real, real intense because this color can get a little icy if you let it. So just a little touch of it and then I'm going to make sure to blend it down to blend with the color that I have as my transition shade. And then I'm gonna take the shade Cosmic Cabaret, which I am thoroughly enjoying these names. And I want this on my lid. Oh my gosh, that's it right there. This is that fire. So I'm just going to pat this on my lid. And then I'm gonna make sure that I blend it over towards the outer corner and then blend it up towards the crease. And then I'm gonna take a dab of Space Oasis and I'm just gonna pat that right in the center here. Ooh, that shift though. Oh yes, ma'am. So now I'm gonna take a very small detailer brush. This one is a Royal and Lang Minkle BOM50 and I have to take the color Galactic Gala Faux Show. And I am gonna pop that right on the inner corner and the look is gorgeous. I love that. Then just kind of blend it over. Make sure that it blends with that purple. Yes. So now before I apply my lower lash line and do all of that jazz, let me clean up with my concealer. And this is how I like to apply my makeup because sometimes you may get fallout and you know, you can dust it away, kind of wipe it off. And then you can go back in with some concealer and make the look look pretty seamless. And I'm gonna take this Kaleidos sponge and blend this out and I love the feel of this sponge already. It feels very pouncy and it just feels like the right amount of squish to it. And you just can tell when you have a good sponge in your hands. And I like the way this one feels. And it has dual flat sides. So, you know, I'm a person who likes to apply my powder underneath my eye with the sponge. And this is perfect for that because it is fitting right in this little nook and it's pressing the product in. So I'm not mad at it. It blended it out super easily. You see how this has just like that flat side. It just presses that product right on in there. And I love that. Perfect. Love it, love it, love it. I'm gonna go ahead and add some liner and lashes to the top and I'll be right back and we can do the lower lash line together. Pretty! Now let's finish off our lower lash line. I'm going to dip back into Galactica Gala and I'm going to wrap that around on the lower inner corner. And then I'm going to pick up the color Saturnalia, I believe it's pronounced. I might be saying that wrong. And I'm going to take that on the middle of my lower lash line. And then I'm going to wipe off my brush and go back with Exoplanet. And pop that on the rest of the lower lash line and then wrap that around to connect to the top. I love the way my eyes turned out. I think that they are super pretty, very galactic, very different, and I overall think that they just look like the ish. I love it. So now let's put on some cheek products. I have all the options. Let me see what I wanna do. I just could do anything almost. Let's see, Diamond Dasher. Okay, I think this one will be a pretty option. Safe, but pretty. Mars Melter. I think that one is a surprise one. Yeah, it has a shift. It's like a white, pinky, goldeny type highlight. That may be the number one contender so far for a highlight, but let me keep going. Let me keep going. Moon Cruiser. That's the one. That like iridescent pinky blue. That's it. This is one of the Wayne Goss, the artist brushes. It's the middle one. So I'm going to take that and then. I'm just going to lightly grace this highlight upon my cheeks. So I'm just going to build it up and this brush is going to apply this product very light handedly, which is the effect that I want because this is a blue iridescent highlight. So I want it to be prominent, but I don't want it to steal the show. So I'm just gonna take it right here and I'm just gonna blend it, you know, kind of like it's coming out of my eye and then go around there. And then as far as blushers, because these are called Lo-Fi Duo Blushers, I have two options. So let me see which one I wanna go with. I mean, 
I automatically am probably going to go with lo-fi peach because I'm a peach type girl. I love a good peach blush. Let me see. What's this one? Oh, lo-fi rose. Hmm. I really want to go into peach and I guess I could, but technically rose probably matches better. But let me go into rose. Okay. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of rose with again, this artist brush by Wayne. Yeah, that's it. Really light. Make sure we're all blended here. And lastly, let's do our lips. I'm going to put on Hypnotize, even though I don't think I'm going to ultimately wear it because I don't think this is going to match my look, but I just want you guys to see it. But it does match my look. Okay. Come through with the surprises. It goes on a lot more purple than I thought it was going to. It looks very plum in the container and it's more sheer. So I definitely can rock this. Okay, so I'm good. I'm done. So, yeah. And here's my finished look using the new products from the Kaleidos Make Your Escape collection. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video because I thoroughly enjoyed creating this look. I feel like this look is super futuristic. It's colors that don't traditionally go with one another. And I think that they are very fun pops of color and I just love the way everything turned out. I think the eyeshadow primer was really nice. It's a very liquidy type eyeshadow primer. So if you're a person who has oilier eyelids, I would say Blot your eyelids first, put on the eyeshadow primer, and then immediately start working so it does not crease. But for me, I'm okay. You guys have seen my tutorials. I can use concealer. And I think this has a little bit more priming properties than concealer does. And it mutes out the back of your eyes. So it gives you something to work on top of. And I feel like it makes these colors really, really pop. So I like this. And the eyeshadow palette is just absolutely gorgeous. I love the packaging of this eyeshadow palette for one. It is a thicker eyeshadow palette but I feel like it just feels nice and it feels different and when I look at it I get excited to open it up and I get excited to use it so opening it up just looking at this color story is just so inspiring because these colors make me happy they are very futuristic very next level and I love that about Kaleidos I think that they are just not afraid to go for it and you can tell with the colors that they selected for this palette alone I think these eyeshadows performed beautifully the matte eyeshadows definitely Definitely are traditional matte eyeshadows so they are a little bit drier in formulation so they apply better than they swatch but I don't think they swatch poorly I just think that because they are a traditional powder they don't have that super super creamy texture that a lot of us have become accustomed to with a lot of different formulations but they definitely perform and they build upon each other so it's not intimidating to use these eyeshadows because when you apply them you can go in with a little bit less opacity and then build it up and then you can get it to be how you want it to be so these are very easy to control but I think the star of the show definitely are the shimmer eyeshadows because these are super super nice and these colors just complement each other so well so I love this eyeshadow palette I think that Kaleidos is just next level they are just what's up next in beauty so I know that they are about to explode because I know a lot of people already know about them but once everybody knows about them I mean look Look at my eye look and it speaks for itself. And then as far as the highlighters, I think these are so beautiful and so iridescent. Like, can you all see that? It's subtle, but at the same time, it's very impactful because you can see that shift. And I just think that it's super cool to have this in a way that is a little bit more subtle than it was four or five years ago when these type tones came out. So I think this is wearable and suitable for 2020. And I think that it's just overall popping. So I love their highlighters. And these blushers, love these. I think these colors are right up my alley. Y'all know I like lighter tone blushes, so I adore that. I use the rosier one, and this one looks really pretty on me. It's a very nice soft pink color. And I cannot wait to tear into this peachy one because y'all know I love a light peachy blush. And then it has this really pretty, sparkly, pretty much duo chrome highlighter as well shifts from gold to pink the sponge is fire it's just the entire collection down to the presentation of the box that they sent it just was on point so if you all have never heard of this brand i will have a link to their website down in my description box definitely check them out and i'm just excited to see companies just really take it to the next level try something new step outside of the box and i think that's what kaleidos does it's what they do so i just 
see them coming through with more greatness and more hot fire let me know some of your favorite products from them if you all have ever tried them if you have them on your radar let me know down in the comment section as well and i will check you all in my very next video which will be super super soon smooches bye